Greetings, this is user Kanzar, and this video is about how to get Diablo 3 to work on Ubuntu 11.04. There's been a lot of people having issues with Diablo 3 and running it on Ubuntu, so I hope this video will clear up some frustrations. So, in order for me to get it to work, I had to download the latest version of Wine from the Git repository, patched with uh, two different patches, a reset patch and accept EX patch and then I compiled it. So <clears throat> for me it wasn't that bad but I'm a programmer so some people might have problems uh, or difficulty with doing the whole compile process. So I made my Wine version available. Uh, you can download it through my previous YouTube video, it's in the link, or it'll be in the link below on this video as well. So just right click, save as, and then save it to anywhere on your desktop. So <clears throat> that's step one, download my Wine version. Step two, download Play on Linux. Uh, you can go to uh, playonlinux.com slash en download.html. And the easiest method is just to click on the dev file, but you can follow these instructions too if you want. Um, so click on the dev file, and it'll open up in the uh, software manager and install it that way. So let's go ahead and install wine and then we'll deal with Diablo 3. So the first thing we'll do is we'll unzip the wine tarball, it's 1.5.4 hyphen Diablo 3. So let the archive manager open that up. Let it extract it. So just click extract. We'll put it on the desktop for now. So there's my Diablo 3. So what you want to do is copy that into your home directory dot play on Linux and then click on wine. And this is important. If you're running on a 64-bit OS, this is a wine version for 32-bit because that's what Diablo 3 is. So you just simply copy it into the Linux hyphen x86 directory. So that is it in terms of installing the my wine version. So the next thing you need to do is go on to Blizzard's website, log into Battle.net, <clears throat> go to your uh, game manager and click on Diablo 3 and download the Windows version of the full client installer. So just like that, I've already downloaded it. It's about 30 meg. And you might say, ah, Kanzar, I've got the DVD. Well, guess what? So do I. <coughs> However, there's been some problems with installing from the DVD. So forget it. Like, who cares if you have the DVD? It's just a nice shiny coaster at this point. Just use the, use the, the download client. It'll take a while, but, you know, you just have, that's what we have to do in Linux sometimes. If you have success with with installing it from the DVD, great, that's awesome. But you're gonna have to download a patch anyways once once it's installed. So just just go the downward the download route anyways. <clears throat> I would I would have preferred to actually buy the the digital only copy. However, that was about ten dollars more than the box copy here in New Zealand. How how do those economics work for you? So now that we have the the Diablo three installer open up play on Linux and note there is if we go into install and we type in Diablo Diablo okay there it is so there is an, an installer uh, I did not use it when I install mine and I've heard there is some problems with it so you can try it out if you like but what I'm gonna show you doesn't involve using this installer quite yet so click on install a non-listed program next install a program in a new virtual drive next 
call it something like Diablo 3 and I'll put video explain because I already have it installed click on use another version of wine and this is where you have to select the version of wine that I compiled 1.5.4 hyphen Diablo 3 next and it's going to go through and uh, make sure you install the wine gecko installer so it's going to set up the normal uh, wine stuff when you create a wine prefix by the way play on Linux is is probably the best program to use if you have wine because it's very very easy to select different versions of wine like for instance we created a version just specifically to play Diablo 3 um, you can have various others so here we need to actually select this Diablo 3 setup click browse go to your desktop click on Diablo 3 setup hit open next <clears throat> so updating setup files and I'm not gonna I'm just gonna let it get to the uh, GUI for installing and I'm gonna cancel it because it is like almost 8 gigabytes of download and I've already downloaded it so I'll just let it get to a point where I think you know everyone I can prove that it works and then I'll just hop into the game that I already have installed And some people, if you, if you don't have the, I think it's the uh, accept EX patch installed, you won't ever get past that loading screen. So, ta-da, yes, we, we have the installer. You can click on this stuff. But what you're really interested in is installing it. So, yes, I agree, Blizzard, to selling my first unborn child to you. Um, and say nope I've already activated because I wouldn't have been able to download this client without activating okay, is there anything interesting to see from this uh, nope not yet so you can see that it is installing it's gonna take a while so I'm going to cancel out of it yes I want to cancel because I've already installed it. You won't do that. Just let it complete. Let it run for how many hours? Maybe I think it took me four or five hours to download everything. But I'm here in New Zealand. If you're in the US, I would expect it to take less, especially with your faster internet connections. <clears throat> especially if you have Fios, uh, Verizon's fiber optic. So cancel that it'll ask you eventually to um, set up a shortcut so if you need help with that just post a comment in the field below but I think it's pretty self-explanatory all right so that is installing Diablo 3 how do I run it well it should if you did create a shortcut um, it will show up in your play on Linux look at all the stuff I have here so click on it, you can click run or double click whatever you feel comfortable with or like I have a uh, shortcut here. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to turn on my Jane Nostromo. Can't play Diablo 3 without the Razor Nostromo. Oh, oop, that was StarCraft 2. I want Diablo 3. Is this a shameless plug or what, folks? Okay. So, uh, one thing that happens with my recording software is it does not record the sound of uh, wine applications. I don't know why. I haven't quite figured it out yet. So, you're not going to hear any in-game sounds. But that's okay. Uh, this is not a video showing off Diablo 3. There's plenty of those out there. It's just a video to show you that I can get it running in 11.04 and how to run it in 11.04.
So, just really quick, kill some zombies here. So much fun. Especially using the Razor Nostroma. Such an awesome uh, gamepad. Alright, we're on the bridge. Let's do some emotes. Can't hear it, but you can see it. So that's about it for this video. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, watching this and hopefully you found it uh, instructional. If you do have any questions or comments about uh, installing Diablo 3 under Play on Linux with Ubuntu 11.04, please leave a comment. I wish everyone the best of luck. Um, I know uh, it can be frustrating at times getting games to work in Linux, and I think this is one of those games that it's really worth your effort to get it working because it's such an awesome game. Okay, folks. Good luck gaming. Have fun. And slaughter some monsters. Bye now.